So in Young Woman and the Sea, you play uh, Trudy Ederly. Who was Trudy Ederly? Trudy Ederly was the first woman to swim the English Channel. She also was an Olympian. She also broke the record swimming the English Channel and held it for a long time. And she is someone that has generally been lost to history. A lot of people don't know who she is. And Young Woman in the Sea tells the story of her and her family and what she had to overcome to accomplish that feat. So uh, have you heard uh, Trudy Ederly's story before? No, <laughs> I was, uh, I, I, I hadn't heard heard it and it was baffling to me that I hadn't heard it and the more I pitched it to people around me after I had read Jeff Nathanson's wonderful script and Glenn Stout's wonderful book uh, nobody had really uh, heard about it and it it was mind-blowing because it was such a seismic world of event when it happened and probably changing you know women's sports forever and I just felt such a responsibility and obligation to to retell this story, uh, you know, for a modern uh, audience. I didn't know about it either. I, I think the, us in America had no idea. And we had screenings last night for some Olympic athletes. They had no idea who she was either. So it's, it's really pr pretty extraordinary. Somebody who created a feat like that and accomplished something that it got lost in time. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to make the story. I mean, I like to tell stories that entertain people and educate you. Now, you're, now you know about a young woman who changed the course of female athletes and was the, the trailblazer for all the great women who participate in sports. And, you know, the fact that women were looked down upon if they knew how to swim is, is pretty unbelievable. And so she had to fight that and her mother had to earn money to give her, father didn't want her to swim and then mother had to earn money to give her swimming lessons. and. Just every, every obstacle she could possibly have, uh, she went through. And then when you say, this story can't be true, I don't believe this. And then you see the parade at the end, the real parade, you say, oh my God, this really happened. And, and what you thought Daisy Ridley was the, the right, uh, you know, uh, actress for this role? I, I mean, now I can't imagine anybody else doing it. You know, obviously she's a great actor. She's, you know, I think she's amazing in the Star Wars and, uh, but I, she has something else as well. She's kind of like, she radiates some kind of a, an energy, I feel, that I'm, I'm imagining that Trudy Ederle had back in the days, you know, this kind of force of nature, uh, because there was no way around it. Like, you know, this was a very, very physical part, uh, especially the way I wanted to film it in the ocean. And I, I warned her about that. And she said, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. And she trained for months and months uh, uh, you know, to, to learn open water swimming and, and she did it. We were out there for weeks and weeks and in, in 60, 61 degrees water, her lips blue and, and, and she's shivering, but still never complaining, just going for it and, and channeling, you know, through the other layer. Well, she's a fat, phenomenal actress. She's beautiful. She's very physical. You see what she did in Star Wars. You see how physical she is. She looks like a swimmer. She has very broad shoulders. And she wasn't a great swimmer when she started, but she st trained for three months with an Olympic athlete. And it's so difficult what she did. She's in the water. When you're filming her, you're filming 10, 12, 12 hours a day. And she's in the water for 10, 12 hours a day. And it's cold and it's windy. And they have to keep changing the camera angles. They have to do take after take. And she has to be, she's a real trooper. Are you a better swimmer now than uh, before this project? Oh yeah, I could barely do a front crawl beforehand and I trained really hard and I'm very proud of my swimming in the film. And then I have not swum since. <laughs> it was difficult and uh, tiring. And I was very excited to play Trudy and very excited to do swimming. And I was also very excited it was for a limited time. You've done pretty physical movies before. So was this like, more, more, more challenging or even even more difficult than other projects? Uh, swimming is a very specific sport in that um, my coach, who is an Olympian, was, I mean, said to us, it's really difficult to learn if you have not done it as a child and a teenager. Uh, and it's so much to learn. We would do drills of um, various different things and then we would do drills of endurance. 
swimming uh, and really a big thing for me. Like you say, I like to have a thing that I'm working towards. I like to see the thing that I'm aiming for. So the daunting feeling of getting in the water and just swimming in what you hope is a straight line, that was, um, it was physically challenging and also mentally challenging to continue to get back in the water and go, okay, here we go again. Uh, there's a lot to, there's a lot to do here. What was the most difficult moment of the, of the project of the filming? <laughs> well, I think like everything on the water and underwater, you know, it's always going to be more complex and, 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 uh, there's so, literally so many moving parts, you know, where a dozen bolts out there, camera bolts, light bolts, you know, safety bolts, picture bolts, like all of this stuff that just like, you know, and then it's strong currents and, and you have an actor in the water, you have to go and suddenly the actor is 200 yards away, she's been swept away, you know, it's like, it's just, it's just difficult. <laughs> in which, in which sea were you filming? In, in which ocean? We filmed in the Black Sea and in the English Channel. In the English Channel itself. Wow. Yeah, that was important to do, do some of the swimming in the English Channel, but the majority was in the Black Sea. I, I love the movie. I think it's like, it feels like classic filmmaking. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the best compliment I can get because we really wanted that, you know, we, I call it like old school filmmaking. Like we, I didn't want to be in a tank or on blue screen or anything like that. I, I wanted to be out on the ocean and, and shoot it. They, they, how the way they had to do it in the old days, you know? And, and, um, and, uh, I think somehow I, I hope somehow that, that the audience can feel that a little bit, that it is, is as real as, as we could make it. Uh, why don't we have more movies like this? I wish, I wish we did. No, we're, we're going to try to make them for you. So we'll keep making movies and try to make movies like this. Uh, you know, it's, it, inspirational stories have always been great, especially when all the odds are stacked against you like they were against Trudy. Just, just all the obstacles she had to overcome. And yet, when you watch the movie, it's, it's got humor in it. It's got emotion, and it's something that we transport you. We transport you from one place to another. If you consider what's going on around the world, we want to take all that chaos away from you for two hours and just entertain you and make you feel better. And you make, you, when you walk out of theater, you've learned something and you've been entertained. And that's our goal when we make movies like Young Women in the Sea. Yeah, we had a great, done beautifully. great production designer, a young Hungarian girl, Nora, who did. And, and, you know, most of the crew and cast waited for this movie. They fell in love with it when they read the screenplay. They wanted to be a part of it. They turned down other movies to, to make this film. So we were really fortunate that we got all this passion put into the making of the movie. And it certainly shows on the screen. Because when you see the movie with an audience, they really connect with it. They applaud. It's the highest testing movie I've ever made. And I've made some really big movies. Let's talk Star Wars for a sec, if you don't mind. Uh, we know that you are going to play Rey again, and you are going to be the leader of, uh, of a new Jedi order. And by the way, the, 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 the new movie is going to be the first Star Wars movie directed by a woman. So how, how do you feel about the project and where, where you guys are in the project? Um, I am currently uh, a resting actor. Uh, at some point, I will be really back. I mean, I'm very much back in the fold. But until we start filming, I feel like I'm really enjoying talking about Young Women in the Sea. And then honestly, I'm looking forward to having a rest before continuing the uh, Star Wars films. I have been working very hard for the past few years and I'm very excited for, the, for a summer off. And then I'm really looking forward to a new adventure. It feels like I'm coming back to it, but I also feel like it's a totally new feeling. Different writer, different director. Uh, time has passed. There are so many unknowns, but it's, I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much and get that uh, deserved rest. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much and congratulations on the movie. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Jerry.